Hi, welcome to the Purple Ladder. And how you guys doing? I hope you're having a blessed day. And today we're going to get into some erotic city as we continue the journey of Prince. And we're at 1984. So we're at the meat of the order. 1984, like I said, it was a a great year for Prince. The he, he became a superstar, so a lot of songs is going to be displayed from this era and the journey will take a long time in this era because I'm going to do the singles and the b-sides because they were so impactful and this is one of the greatest b-sides of all time you know i had a countdown where i picked the greatest b-sides and this was number one man what can you say uh, about erotic city it was just the jam of 84 uh it was played heavily on the radio. It got tons, tons of airplay. It was so popular in clubs. People couldn't stop playing. This defined the Minneapolis sound. It, it, it just say, hey, Prince is a genius. And he displayed his own funk. And as you lost control of, or you didn't have Sly or the Funkadelics, George Clinton was slowly getting out of the picture. Here you go, Prince, save funk. So let's get into some history and some of the lyrics. All right, Erotic City, make love, not war. Erotic City, come alive is a song by the musician Prince. It was released as a B-side to the 1984 single, Let's Go Crazy, and the 12-inch version of the 1986 single, Girls and Boys. The dance mix of Erotic City was released as a three and five CD single in Germany in 1989 and 1990, respectfully. The artwork for the single features the same image of Prince that was used for the cover of I Would Die For You. The extended version of the latter was included as the B-side of Erotic City. The song was released in two versions. The extended remix was released as the B-side to Let's Go Crazy while the edited pitch nearly a key higher made it to the hits B-side. Yeah, we all remember that. Erotic City was re-released on CD on the hits B-side in 93 and on the Girl 6 soundtrack in 96. The song can be heard in the Spike Lee film, Girl 6. All right, so the B-side, I would die for you extended version, released July 18, 1984, original release, again, 1989, June 29, 1990, re-recorded in Sunset Sound, March 25th, April 4th, 1984. Yeah. Original version, 3 minutes, 55 seconds. The dance mix, 7 minutes, 24 seconds. Yeah, yeah, Prince was on one on here. While delivering his speech prior to the induction of the funk collective known as the Parliament Funkadelic into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 97 of May, Prince explained that erotic cities were recorded directly after seeing Parliament Funkadelic at the Beverly Theater in Los Angeles in 1983. Yes. The song starts with a guitar string pluck and wham whammy before dropping into the drum track, which sounds as if he may have reversed on the 4-8 like a computer. The experimental number relies on a strong bass line and a simple keyboard riff. The song features Prince's voice both sped up and slowed down at the various times to sound like different singers. Also featured is Sheila E. in her recorded debut with Prince, 
who became a close associate with Prince and worked with him extensively over the years. Even though the song was a B-side, it hit number one. It received significant air play or radio play. Yes, the song was notably for its sexual references and the use of the word F. <laughs> we can elf until the dawn we can funk until the dawn but you know what you're saying we can fuck until the dawn although some people especially she who sings the chorus have claimed the word is actually funk allowing it to be played on the radio in the late 1980s into the 90s however since 2004 the radio version is edited to repeat part a of the hook and omit the potential obscenity misheard in part b because of the Federal Communications Commission has levied fines against stations that played the song for broadcasting allegedly incident material, including KLUC FM in Las Vegas, Nevada, KTFM, or KTFM in San Antonio, Texas, and KBZR, now KZON in Phoenix, Arizona. Wow. Yeah, man, that... This was the track. And a personal note with the sources. Prince, lead vocals, backing vocals, electric and acoustic guitars, Oberheim, QB, 8, bass guitar, Lindrum. She lead, lead, and backing vocals. Yeah, this was an absolute masterpiece. Uh, what can you say? Like I said, having She lead on the track was perfect. You know, and... This is something Prince was known for, and he did, especially as an artist. He tried to do things different, and, you know, you need that, especially at this time. You needed that because of how the 80s were. You know, when people think of the 80s, they think of some of the same things, you know. Uh, they'll bunch everything up in one, you know, say, well, that that's 80s, huh? Prince, or, you know, they always mention in the 80s, but they looking for that same particular sound. But you dig into his 80s catalog, you're not going to get that same particular sound always. And Erotic City was one that really, you have the synthesizers riff, but you have that funk. And this was the funk. And like I say, some of the new funk tears that came out in the late 70s, like Cameo, uh, Confunction, groups like that, uh, Midnight Star, you know, people that was making some of the uh, newer funk into the 80s. You know, this was only, only a few bands were still doing it in that similar way, you know, really, to me, I think Prince and Candio was on one. They was doing a lot of different variety of things and, you know, being more experimental than a lot of other people at that time that was known in funk because confunction groups like Lakeside, they kind of stripped down once the mid 80s, 83, 84, they more stripped down into, you know, more uh, just R&B feel, you know, but Midnight Star released No Parking on the Dance Floor was, that was funky as hell, man. So a few groups were still doing it, man. But like I said, I think Prince and Cameo, they was doing a lot of different things that, was they was trying to break into new territories. Prince was on one with Erotic City. It's one of the greatest B-sides of all time. Doesn't sound like a B-side. It's just a plain single. And it, this is one of his greats in his catalog, man. So if you don't have it, get it, stream it, listen to it, whatever you want to do, man. But yeah. So that's about it from this song, Erotic City, one of the greatest tracks in Prince's catalog, man. Uh, 
And I'm signing off on the Purple Ladder. And like I always say, uh, peace, love. I don't always say that, but peace, love. God bless you. And I hope you have a, a safe and wonderful Father's Day, if you're fathers. And I'm going to be signing off. You have a great day, and may God bless you. Thank you.